Let's learn how to analyze polymers with gel permeation chromatography. Before getting into it, what is a polymer? Polymer is a natural or synthetic compound, consisting of large molecules in which small units are repeatedly linked. Polymer can be classified into two types, based on how they were made, which are natural polymers and synthetic polymers. For analysis of polymer, SEC separation technique is commonly used. Then, what is SEC? Size exclusion chromatography is one of the HPLC techniques, that separates compounds on the basis of their sizes. GPC gel permeation chromatography, is also known as SEC. As for how it works, when the sample dissolves in solvent, and goes into the column packed with porous beads, smaller molecules permeate the pores of beads, while larger molecules barely do. Thus, larger molecules are eluded from the column earlier, and smaller molecules later on. Although GPC, GFC, and SEC describe same liquid chromatographic techniques, in terms of soluble solvent type, SEC is categorized to two techniques, which are GPC and GFC. GPC stands for Gel Permeation Chromatography. It normally uses columns filled with polystyrene or silica, to analyze synthetic polymers, such as alkyds, epoxies, rubbers, polystyrenes, silicons and polyvinyl chlorides. GFC is an abbreviation of Gel Filtration Chromatography. This generally uses columns packed with polyacrylamide, dextran, or agarose to analyze biological polymers, such as peptides structural proteins, enzymes, and nucleic acids. The most important thing in GPC is, the determination of its molecular weight and molecular weight distribution. Let's move to the next, the column selection guide for GPC. In order to choose the right GPC column, you should think about solvent types to dissolve sample first. If your sample can be soluble in water or water-based solvent, select aqueous GPC column and use aqueous solvents like water with buffer as mobile phase. Or if your sample is soluble in organic solvent like DMF, DHF and chloroform, organic GPC column is the right column, and organic solvents are suitable as mobile phase. Select the right column to cover the molecular weight of your sample. If your analyte is small, select a small pore-sized column, and if the analyte is large, select a large pore-sized column. If you have a wide range of molecular weight in your sample, multiple column connection can be utilized, to determine the accurate molecular weight distribution, and increase the resolution. Let's see how analysis results of polymer looks like. These are the analytical conditions for analysis of water-soluble polymer. Multiple columns are used to cover the broad molecular weight range. This is GPC chromatogram results of water-soluble polymer, and it shows the peaks of each analyte, in order of molecular weight. These are the analytical conditions for analysis of organic solvents soluble polymer. And it's GPC chromatogram results. Our optimized GPC system for reliable analytical data, includes smart hardware platform, consulting of column and solvent for your application and so on. We guarantee the reliable data from polymer analysis, 